Okay. Um, since the beginning of her career, I've been a really big fan of Lady Gaga. Um, and I love everything about her, her music, her style, her, um, her political stance, and all the above. So for my 18th birthday, my parents had surprised me with a ticket to see her at the um, Staples Center in downtown LA. And so it was August 12, 2010, and I was really excited. Um, I woke up early, didn't get my sleep the night before, because I was too busy making my outfit. Because if you're going to the golf concert, you're not going to go dressed in jeans and a t-shirt. You have to dress up for the occasion. So um, I had secrets all over my boots, studded the jacket I bought a good little other day, and just was on my merry way. So I took the bus there because I figured that by the time my parents got home, it would have been too much of a hassle to go and come back, because it was probably going to be like a four-hour um, frame I was going to be there. So. Um, and what's typically from, I live in Fullerton, so what's typically from a bus ride from Fullerton to downtown LA is like a one and a half to two, um, two hour bus ride. Um, it seemed like it just was a 10 minute bus ride. I was so excited on the way there. All I could think about is, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in the same room as Lady Gaga. I'm going to be breathing the same air as Lady Gaga. I'm going to be in her presence. It was just, it's a really super fan moment. So the whole time I had my earphones in, listening to every song, I was just in total super fan mode. And so, um, I finally get there. I um, first thing you have to do when you go to the golf concert is not stand in line. You walk around and see people's outfits because people go all out for this thing. I saw probably a dozen gagas, people dressed in leather, studs, chains, anything you could possibly think of. You, you would see. So, talked to a few people, met not friends, just acquaintances, I guess, and had a jolly old time. So I finally found one that was supposed to stand in. Stood for two hours. Um, there's a lot of waiting if you're going to stay in no matter what. Um, so I spent two hours in this line, finally was in. Um, I got food because I hadn't eaten the whole day. Um, I got sushi, it was really spicy, I loved it. And um, I had found my seat. And my parents paid really good money to make seats. And I was front row, center, it was like perfect seats, best seats in the house. So, um, first performance go on is DJ Starlight and um, Semi Precious Weapons. So, um, so it was great, they were awesome, danced around and everything, and then about 8-ish, 8.30-ish, um, the whole arena goes dark. Um, by that time, the crowd goes wild, the energy in the room is amazing, and then her performance starts, which isn't, Lady Gaga is not just going to come off stage and start a song, it's a performance piece, she starts with a video, and I don't think I'll be able to explain the video because it's almost, how do you, how do you explain a Lady Gaga video, first of all? So, it was basically her, half her, half tornado, then her getting slapped in slow motion, it's just this really bizarre thing. So, at the end of the video, it was um, a countdown from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and by five, by 5 seconds, I was like losing it. I remember the whole crowd was going wild, um, tears going down my eyes, I was like, oh my gosh, ugh. And so, um, 3, 2, 1. Her silhouette appears in purple lighting and curtains, and the whole place goes wild. The energy in the place is just ridiculous. The only thing that I can really remember from that moment was tears coming down my eyes, singing the song. She performed the whole song behind the curtain, and the crowd went wild as if she was right there. It was just a really ridiculous energy. So um, the whole concert went smoothly. Performed every song I expected her to perform. I had watched videos online before, and I kind of knew what was going to expect it. But when you see her live, it's definitely a really different experience. You. Kind of, it's, it's definitely a really personal experience when you go because um, the message she sends to the Monster Ball, which is the name of the tour, is that she wants to create a space for her fans to come be who they want to be, not to be judged by anyone else. So um, her message is she wants people to come to the concert not loving her, and leaving not loving her more, but loving themselves more. And I believe that I've definitely left the concert loving myself more than when I came in. <laughs> <laughs>